Hi everyone, my name is Pierre Bonnet. I'm the founder of the MDM Alliance Group community. During this short presentation, I will be talking about the data on metadata management within the cloud computing. First of all, I need to set the scene of the current IT process established to uh, configure and deploy applications. Most of the time, um, companies rely on the manual IT deployment of their applications. It means that business owners define their requirements in informal descriptions that are handled by IT staff to provide IT capability, install and configure applications and subsystems. The functional silo on their applications lead to an IT deployment by silos with dedicated IT infrastructure. To regain the control of the crossing between applications and IT infrastructures, most of the time a company must have several CMDB, in other words, several configuration management uh, databases. Obviously, this lack of uh, smooth application management from business configuration to IT deployment is a significant risk. The situation is rigid, expensive, and leads to a slow deployment. Furthermore, as a lot of manual works are done by IT staff without real reporting open to business, this is an uh, error-prone approach. To tackle this situation, a company can use a cloud computing architecture. But to achieve this approach, three domains uh, must be established. Firstly, a company has to define two or three types of standard IT infrastructure. It means a gamut from which each new application will be able to rely on. Secondly, upon this virtualization of IT, a cloud logical modeling must be enforced. All relationships between IT components and applications must be defined and managed through repositories well known by uh, IT staff such as CMDB, but also WSDM and uh, SLA definitions, uh, UDDI to define the applications and services portfolio, the security with, for example, SAML, and other APM, it means Application Performance Management Systems. Obviously, contents uh, of these IT repositories come from business requirements, such as business application configurations, service level agreement between parties, etc. Then, thirdly, as the cloud computing must be open to business stakeholders, it is not relevant and uh, suitable to allow them to use IT repository directly, such as, of course, uh, CMDB or UDDA or WSDM, etc. A higher level of abstraction must be enforced. It means a business cloud. This business cloud is based on the cloud business modeling. First of all, the cloud approach uh, requires governing shared business data between all applications and services in order to remove the negative silo effect on data quality. It's very important to say that the extensive reuse of common business data is a key mechanism to guarantee the system to be more open on responsiveness to business. But the cloud approach requires also a dedicated cloud data uh, repository. This repository collects all data on metadata in relation to actors, applications, and services used and available on the cloud. This is a type of semantic CMDB with a unified view of uh, all data on metadata needed to feed the logical cloud on its IT repositories. Both shared data repository and cloud repository are based on a unique enterprise master data management system with all data governance features open to business users, such as uh, user interface to uh, feed and query data, version management of data, permission management, but also a BPM for business provisionings uh, of application and services, which is a data approval workflow engine. The responsiveness, auditability, and traceability of the MDM are a significant gain to succeed in the cloud computing. Even more, I would say that uh, 
Without this level of abstraction, it is unachievable to manage applications and services of the cloud. Be aware that application management becomes a strategic stake for the client of the cloud and this client is not IT proficient. He needs business-oriented tools to ensure uh, the configuration and uh, application management and this is exactly uh, data management as the MDM system and its data governance functions provide. Obviously, the added value of this vision also lies in the data model used by the cloud repository. We must say that today's market is not yet mature enough to provide on the shelf such a data model. But if the MDM used is compliant with a model driven approach MDM, then the company is, a, is able to start with a first version of the data model and then have a progressive enrichment of this model over time following its business requirement to meet the cloud approach. In any case, it is impossible to give to business users direct access to IT repositories set up at the level of the logical cloud. In other words, the cloud repository uh, I talk about here is mandatory and it relies on the MDM system from the business cloud level. An automatic process is established to push right data uh, to IT repositories at the level of logical cloud. And to guarantee the quality of this process, a BPM for IT provisioning is used. Obviously, a set of uh, IT connectors are used to feed and update automatically the MDB, WSDM repository, DDI, and other IT repositories. Then, uh, thanks to this automation from business cloud to logical cloud, key business properties are enforced, such as flexibility, responsiveness, and cost effectiveness. If you are interested in this vision, uh, feel free to contact me to study opportunities to uh, collaborate. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us and hope uh, this short video will be useful. Talk to you soon on the MDM Annuals Group community. Goodbye.